look at this, May 25th, 2023. And we got frost on the ground. Holy jumping, you can see it on some of the grass and stuff. Man, what a weird year this is so far. <laughs> Not so bad down here because it's under the tree, but of course yesterday, I also just planted some plants down there, so I had to go cover them up for last night. But anyways, how's she going today? Pretty good here. So we're gonna get into the shed here. Oh, I hear ya, he's back. Mm, he didn't fit in with the people we uh, give him to there, so he actually got uh, pretty brutally attacked. So we brought him back home and, uh, holy jump they uh, attacked his head. And like, what the heck? Pecked like the top of his head and all the, all the fur off and all the skin. It was pretty gruesome to start with there, but anyways, uh, he, uh, he's back mending anyway, so, uh, so we're gonna hear him in the background for a little while again until we rehome him again, but, uh, anyways, I was just working here on my gen, and, gen, it's not a generator, that's a plate damper, I don't know, I was looking at this, I guess, I'm thinking gen, uh, dumping the fuel out of it and cleaning them all out again, and, but anyways, that's not my project for us for today, because you guys have already seen kind of how I do that a while ago. Uh, today we're actually gonna work on... This little chainsaw guy here, take the side cover all off of a million screws, hold it together, and see if we can figure out why it's not oiling. I don't know. It seems weird. It's maybe there's parts missing. Maybe that's why I got it at like the restore over here, the discount store thing or something. But anyways, I guess I gotta clean this up first and uh, we should be good to go. Well, let's see what are we gonna do here. I got no battery on it now, so I'm not gonna get zapped, so that's good. Uh Looks like a whole pile of screws, and then uh, looks like I gotta get this handle off here too first, maybe. Hopefully, my screwdrivers will fit down these little channels here, and they all look like they're uh, Phillips. I could probably do it with uh, I don't know, the battery out here for that little guy. Anyways, that's okay. Not very tight. <laughs> oh, geez, there's a nut in the back of that one. Didn't realize that. And see this screw here probably screws right in. Should be faster with my screw gun, but I didn't bring a battery out for all right. Get out. Get out. Okay, and uh, that screw is. Just, oh man, that is a long screw in there. Something else just fell out too. What was that? I just lost. I think one of the little screws for the handle. Darn it. Okay, I gotta find that. Okay, found it. Stick that guy on there. This handle should just, I presume, come off. Yeah, okay. That's good. Now we got a million screws here to get out. And I imagine, oh, that is kind of dripping a bit there. I imagine that will have to uh, come off too. Okay. I wonder if they've got any hidden screws. They probably do. It looks like they're all the same screw, which is good. 1,500 different screws for one little saw thing, I'll say. I don't know why that, uh, I guess there is a magnet in that, so that does make sense. And hopefully it's come apartable, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's all the same layer. I think there's some on the handle here that might be uh, potentially a little bit smaller so far. Good. You watch the whole thing will fall apart and there'll be motor all over the place and then the thing will be junk. You need some special jig to put it together. I don't know, we'll see. It's really well built though, you know, like for uh, assembled plastic, we'll say. See the motor and stuff in there, the windings and all that junk. Okay, I think these ones may be a different screw, but I'm not sure. Maybe they'll be all the same. They're all the same. So well, that's nice. I you know there was one here I couldn't get it fished out. It's down in there. And here. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out of that hole. Okay, oh, there's one here. Doesn't want to fish that one out either, so let's see if we can just dump it. Well, I got the one out. That guy just doesn't want to. Doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, well. Now, is that it? That one's out. Nothing there, that one's out. That one's out. Out, 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 out. Okay. Now, imagine we're going to have to take this cap off. And be careful not to dump it over. I'm hoping just this whole thing will just come apart here. Oh, there's a sticker going right through the crack there. So that's probably your void the warranty. <clears throat> there won't be any warranty on this thing anyways. Oh, we'll just do that. There we go. And uh, let's see here. I'll hold the side cover off. Everything kind of stays there nice. Okay, we'll put this cat back on this guy. Slow it down a little bit from coming out. So I see a little tube. See where the oil is coming. Ah, there's, there's your problem. Found it already. Woo! Okay, let's have a look here. A little handle just fell off. Definitely a manufacturing issue. Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you guys see that in there? I don't know if you can see that. See where this line's coming out? It's all kinked there. That's no good. It's like the line's too long or something there. Okay, that's an easy-ish fix. Here's hoping. I don't want to take it apart too much more. And it looks like it's kind of going down over to this area. So that is got a kink in it that's interesting it's got like a little flywheel on it here and I really don't want to take it all apart but I think you got to get this cover off 
take all this all apart to get that thing out of there, but I think I can maybe, maybe just get that thing pulled off and shorten it a little bit. Where did I put the, uh, there, these guys, I need these guys. Oh, what the heck was that? Something. That was odd. Oh, geez, now I'm losing all kinds of parts. <laughs> That's not good. I'm going to figure out where they all go now. I think this was just in here. Uh-oh. It's in there. That's yeah, your push button thing, and then this... Okay, well, that's your little throttle handle. Where the heck did that go now? Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have screwed that up. Yeah, I'm going to have to look back at my video here to see where that thing was sitting. But something weird broke here, and I don't know why, because I haven't touched anything here yet. Oh, the little stupid cheesy clip holding this on here broke. Well, that's pretty chintzy. Oh, see that's definitely not good. Your stupid crappy little tube is kind of pinched off there, kind of weird. I don't know if it's too long or or what. It seems like it's too long, but it's got a, a definite good kink in it now, so I don't know what to do about that. I'm not sure if I've got any of this tube. No, that didn't break. I don't know what's going on with that thing. It would probably work better if it was just like that. It's like they got an extra twist in it or something. Oh yeah, this did break. Stupid junk. This might be a little bit too long. I think if I can shorten that a little bit. Shorter now. Get that push back on here. I think we might be all right. There, that might be a little better. Still a bit long. But I see it's going through the tube now, so, so that's a good sign. But this thing's kind of kind of broke one of the tabs there, so I'm going to try to go without that on there, I guess. But uh, I don't really have a good way of squeezing that now. I don't have one that small, that's for sure. That's a really tiny one. Super tiny, but I see it's going through the thing now, so that's maybe going to help. I wouldn't mind shortening it just even a little bit more. Just to kind of stretch. Stretch that tube out a little bit more. That's pushed on there quite a piece, so I'm not too worried about that coming off. Okay, got to figure this out now. Uh, and this guy was... Uh, fell off here too. I think that went on like this. Well, maybe this way. Oh, maybe this way. Yeah. Pushes on a little rocker switch in there which lets the thing run. That's your little safety button you gotta push first which I just like to glue in and be done with. And uh, that looks like your major switch there, so that's got to go, I think. Right there, maybe, yeah. There we go. 
but you gotta push the, I don't know now, push the safety button in and it kind of, basically what happens there, I guess this thing, you push that down and then it lets that thing rock on the thing there, so. Okay. really sit in there too nice but I think we should be good to oil now all right now we just got to put it all back together and then uh, I'll have to go grab the, the battery for it too because I left it inside as well on the charger it's funny eh? this little thing that I figured it was something something stupid that that line was just a little bit too long and they kind of seemed to have wrapped it around there a little weird too but Anyways, all right, let's just see if this all joins back together nice here. A little battery charger, charger port thingy there. It's got to go. There we go. Look at that. Pretty slick. And then we'll put her all back together again here. Hopefully everything's kind of where it should be. Feels pretty good. We'll get to uh, so now this. That one there already has one, so put one there. One there. One there. Just drop one here somewhere. Way down there. The handle here. One down there. Okay, why do I have extras? Oh yeah, the handle. That's right. I remembered. These things I don't think go super tight. Something like that would work. This would be nice with my little gun here so I could put the torque setting on it. That's all right. I had a buddy there in the RC car days. I don't know how the heck he did it, but he used a screwdriver, and it was interesting because he held it like, like this, and he somehow did it with one hand. I don't know. I can I can't have that coordination, maybe. So now this thing will probably oil too much. And the oil all over the bloody place. You watch. Hopefully not, but... Interesting how there was that little kink though. I wondered why it wasn't oiling. Decent little saw though, but I do have to figure out what chain it takes. It doesn't really tell you anything in the book. It's like they almost expect you to throw it away when the chain gets dull. You'd almost kind of wonder, you know, but... I hear a big bumble bear or something flying around here. Stinker. Furnace on actually, you know what? Hang on just before we do that. 
finish that, it's gonna shut it off here again. Because I just wanted to take a bit of the chill off. It's freaking cold as you see this morning out there with a the bloody frost. No idea why we got frost, but hey. That's the way she works. Let's just double make sure these are all good. Good. Okay, now I've got the handle back on here. And that should go here and right into there. Should put this one through first, I guess. Okay. Big long screw. And that went through, I think, this way. I'm thinking right. And that guy just kind of holds itself, which is nice. have a little vent on the cap here so it uh, does leak out the cap which is not a ideal awesome thing but especially that sticky gooey crap <laughs> okay and the last two screws look at that we don't even have extra parts left over that's good Good. Oh, here, where am I going? I gotta go grab the battery and then we'll just run her like this without a chain on it first to see if it's coming out the hole here. I think it should be good now. Good. Didn't even strip nothing out. Even better. Okay, put this guy back. And uh, let me go grab battery. All right, this battery is about half the weight of the saw. All right, hopefully we see uh, a little nozzle here. Shoot some oil through there once we juice her here. Let's see. Oh. to get her through there, but that's working. Okay, I'm gonna grab the guard and the chain here. We'll put her back together. And we'll head her out and give her some cutting maybe too here and uh, just to see everything's still working the way it should be. Okay, so if I wanna make sure you put your chain on the right way. And this one's a little weird, it's, it's tight. Tight chain. It's almost like it's. Well, it's probably right because it, it'll stretch a bit, right? And then it'll actually fit better. But. Sometimes it's easier to put the bar on first. I think this one, for now, it's, it's easier to put the chain on the bar first. And then try to fiddle her onto the sprocket here. Oh, wait a minute, did I do that right? No, I don't think I did. Which means my chain's on upside down. I'm going to this little mechanism on here. And 
a little mechanism. An auto or uh, toolless tightening mechanism. Oh, get on that little stud thing there. Where are you? There. Yeah, this thing here is pretty cool. Got her started. I hear you, chicken. Oh, do the wrong one again. My bad. Doesn't feel right. Seems to get it almost too tight. All right, let's see now. Well, we'll head her out and give her a, her a try here, I guess. Um, should see uh, if we can leave a splatter line on the bench here. Should splatter off the end. Probably not the best of uh, oilers, but no, I maybe see it in the bar a little bit there, but still a little concerned that it's not really working like it should be. Well, that's there. Yeah, it'll eventually come through, I guess. Let's just make sure the bar is clear too. That's another thing. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna work. It just doesn't put out a whole lot. Well, that's kind of a stupid design because it's actually gotta get through an extra pin there, but I do see it kind of starting to come along the bar, so maybe we're alright. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely pumping it out, so okay. Alright, uh I guess we'll go out and try her. See what we think about it. Get this all back on here again now. Good practice. Good practice. It's a little bit of a weird design with that. Uh, little pin there kind of blocking it off. Maybe that slows it down a bit. I don't know. Get on there, will ya? Okay, that. Go back on there. I'm gonna try not to get it quite so tight. But it still feels really tight. Oh man. It's maybe a little better. Okay. Well, we'll head her out and try her here. Alright, well, we'll give her a shot here. I see if the glass is on, because you never know. This is a log here that's not in the greatest shape. I can maybe get some cans out of it, but we'll just do a couple of cookie cuts here, maybe. Kind of hard to stall this thing out. I really 
have to push on it. Well, that's good. Seems like it's working. I'd like to do a spray test here. Look at the splitting in this thing. Holy smokes. working. I know there's oil coming out somewhere. <laughs> it's not really dripping down inside there, so the chains, yeah, it's kind of looking oily, so that's good. This log's not going to be much good for any lumber because it's all it's been standing dry for a while and it's just got no strength to it now. Like I can break off, you know, want a piece of pie? Here you go, have some pie. So, but anyway, it's good for testing, I guess. Uh-oh. Seems like it works. Let's try the one in behind here. Get you a little closer. This is the one I think we test cut before with the saw. So we got a bit we can cut off the end here. not bad pretty dry rotted log this one too though it might be just a cant again too bad because it's a good size log uh how far did we go in here fair piece of thing yeah this I can even smell it doesn't smell right <laughs> this this log it's uh it's maybe all right further up though but uh, down here though I think it's pretty punky but up here it's eh. maybe it's all right I don't know I don't know if I'll get lumber out of it but I need some more cants, square cants, like for piling logs onto, different little piles of things where I've got to move some over here that I can just put it onto another cant, right? So, but I think this is working. I do see uh, some bar oil on the, you know, on the chain and the bar there now, some fresh stuff, so that's good. But that's all it was, a little twist in it. Look at that. But anyways, yeah, we've got a uh, few logs here. This one's still good. This one, uh, I think, is the top of this one. So both of these really won't be good for anything. This actually might just get scrapped because it's not really that big. This one here was another one that was sitting there rotten. I think this was the top of that one, if I remember right. And this guy here, I don't remember where I got him from. <laughs> sitting there, another one is all the bark's all right. So these would be just basically cans other than, than this one. But uh, one day we'll get those on the mill there and... Uh, do some saw and just square them up and we can use them as uh, stacking things that'll be about all they're good for so can't really get any structure out of them when they're standing dead like that for so long they're just dried dried right out but anyways there we go looks like we got her fixed and uh, shouldn't be a problem it actually you could almost hear it kind of quietening down there on the bar once it got a bit of oil to it so that's good help lube it up I guess before it kind of burnt the bar off right so there we go. That's it for today, I guess. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Fixed. Sweet.
Oh, one day soon we're going to have a look inside of this guy, too. Just to see what makes him tick kind of thing. This is the one that the joint was all wore out, but now it's all cockeyed and weird and stuff. But uh, if I ever needed parts, you know, I could get it, probably the barrel out of it. And uh, I don't know if there'll be a nut on this piston in here or not, but uh, basically, simply to take apart, just got to get that clip out of there. And I think the whole thing will just pull out, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.